let's let's get Adam in here. Let's get let's get Adam up in here. Adam, are we gonna see your camera? Let's see what happens. Yes. Wow, what a lovely face you have, Adam. Can you see me? No, it's just your your artist logo, I think. Oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Hi. There he is. Adam up, meets Adam? Son. Son meet Adam. Is there a way for me to do... Oh, wait. Gallery view. There we go. Can I make myself smaller, though? I don't want to see my stupid Gallery logo. view. Perfect. Awesome. Hello, guys. How you doing? Good. It's good to uh, be a part of the Stream for Justice. It's a really cool thing you guys are doing. Hell yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm doing it for me, but... The fact that Son is doing this at one o'clock in the morning to hang out with fans and stuff is uh, it's very commendable, Son. So, so thank you for being here. Oh man, you guys are good people. Eh, I'm like a I'm like a four out of ten. I'm like a I'm like a very regular guy. Like no, not that big you, of a deal. You're up. You're up there. Higher number. What like a like a six, six and a half? At least a six. Okay, I'll take a six. a six. I'll take a six all day. I, I will take a six all notes. day. Awesome. No, I'm, yeah. My percentage right now is at like an 85. I'm feeling great. We're doing things for charity. We're doing wow. great things. Um, so, okay. I I still have more questions I want to ask Son, but I, I'm going to leave the, I'm going to leave the floor to you, Adam. If you have any questions for Son, for me, whatever, uh, you know, this is your, this is your time to shine. Well, first to Sam, it's awesome that you're doing all this stuff on Twitch. Like a lot of music producers, like myself included, we've kind of like realized, man, we're in our rooms all alone, like kind of making music, but like to have like a community that comes in and put, gives you input on what you're doing or just to see like what other producers are doing. You know, there's so many different ways to tackle a song. Yeah. Yeah. It used to be like uh, people would submit a link and you don't really know like what to say about it. You're like, it sounds cool. Yeah. And a lot of the songs people submit sound as good as the radio. So yeah, for you guys to like so. come in, it's really cool to hear what you guys have to say about it because you know, you know more than anyone. I don't know. I don't know if like. I do know more than anyone though. You know. Yeah. Who knows. Yeah, I mean, like, like Son and I were talking about it. We we were thinking about doing, you know, a demo roulette thing where we listen to songs and whatever. And you know, Son was like, you know, any DJ can get on here and do that, but we should like actually talk to the fans. And I thought that that was really cool because I kind of felt the same way. It's like, you know, it, yes, I think it's cool that I do what I do on Twitch and I have a lot of fun doing it. But like at the same time, and that's why I do the Ableton projects a lot of the time is like there's only so much advice that you can give someone from an MP3, kind of like you were saying. Um, and I think, you know, me and San just sitting here and getting to, to talk to people is just as valuable, if not more than, you know, just being like, yeah, your kick, your kick could be a little tighter, but you know, it's a pretty cool track, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's, what's funny is like, how do you know, like if the kick sounds good, you know, those are things that, I guess new producers don't really know because it sounds good, you know? Yeah. But then it's funny because some producer will say, you know what? I would make it punchier or whatever. Yeah. And then all but, of that stuff is completely subjective. You know, I could yeah. listen to a song and be like, I hate this. And then Son could listen to a song and be like, I love this. You know what I mean? I mean, listen to Bitbird and listen to Bite This. You know, the, the sounds could not be more different. And stuff that Son might get submitted, he would be like, this doesn't really work for me and then i could get it and be like yo this is awesome and vice versa but i'm done right. talking i'm done talking i'm i'm oh. i'm completely hijacking this entire zoom room as you should it's your room <laughs> no this is uh, holo's room and i'm just living in it or now it's adam's room and we're just living in it adam's room <laughs> yeah so uh i do have a question for son since he's here um you had a cool video about how you mastered your track one thing i believe 
and you kind of like showed the master chain. But what I thought was cool. Oh boy, here was, we go, master chain talk. Oh right? boy, we're getting into like, it. He made like ten different master chains for one song. It was like it looked like you had done it over and over again to like make sure you got the right mix. Is that like is that the way to do it? Like, how do you know something's like that's the one? You know. Yeah. So I think. I think every producer knows the struggle, right? You have a master final, like final master one and then final master two and then final master three B. Right. Until final master 11. And then you listen to it on your headphones and you're like, oh, the kick should be a little bit louder. Or it just, it, I make a lot of masters. And um, sometimes at, Sometimes one master is special, and I don't know why. It's the balance between things, and um, and if it's so, this is this might sound really weird, okay? But I think I know what you're gonna say, and I'm gonna agree. But go ahead. No, no, no I, I don't think I don't think it's just that. But like sometimes I, I I'm at master twenty, and then I listen back to master ten. And I'm like, wait, this is the master ten is way better. And yeah. I don't know ex I don't know exactly why, but it's just got something special that connects with me, and then I just go for Master Ten because, you know, that feels right. Yeah, hundred percent, dude. And, and because then you've kind of forgot, you've you've forgotten about all the parameters for Master Ten. You've forgotten about how everything looked in the project. Um, one of my big mistakes is that when I'm mastering, I, I know every little parameter. I know every volume knob i know every little eq adjustment but you, you kind of want to get away from that and just listen with your ears so that's why most of the time i fall back to a way earlier master that I, that just like hits my ears completely blank without knowing anything about the session anymore that's that's so that's, that's that's interesting i've never actually thought about it that way what i was gonna say is mm -hmm. that the more masters you make the more you mix down the song, the less emotion it has. And you have to find the blend between the rawness of the idea and then the pristineness of a perfect mix and find that blend. And maybe that's also what you're hearing in Master yeah. 10 verse 20 is that you've made it so clean and sterile by Master 20 that you're missing some of the imperfections and some of the rawness that you had in Master 10 or Master 5 or whatever then you go back to that and it's like the emotion is there more than in one of the better sounding mixes or maybe think, you've mixed it too far and it actually you know because you know like you're saying you're so focused on all the different knobs and numbers you're not actually listening to the song anymore you know what i mean i think that's what i meant you just, you just said it better <laughs> no no what you said was different but also a really cool way of looking at it i think yeah. that they're both totally like real and viable, you know what I mean? But like I said, I thought I knew what you were gonna say and I totally 100% agree. But the most important thing at some point, you just gotta go for it because at some point, if you're with, at, at master 20, you're just working on this 1% that- No, no one notices, gonna... man. Yeah. And you know, at that point, you can also you know, you got to do what you got to do, but I've learned that at some point you got to, that energy is maybe better spent producing a new song or, you know, getting creative in another way, because we get in our heads so much about the little mix things that no one's going to hear ever. Um, but hey, that's just me. Um, yeah, I agree. I agree 100%. All right. We have, we have some more people filing in, so I want to start getting through them before things get crazy. If we spend, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes talking to every homie, it's we're not going to get through anyone. So as much as we love you, Adam, we're about to kick you the hell out of here. Um, Adam, oh, cool. I, I know I know you're always on the chat. You're always in the stream. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for always being around. Uh, thank you for donating Thanks. and coming to hang out with us. And uh, I know you mentioned Orange County. This is Orange County. So hell yeah. But I live in L.A., so it's cool to see, you know, even all the foreign producers wanting to come out here. There's like an energy that's like pretty cool, you know. There, there really is, and yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm hoping that pretty soon, San and I will be neighbors and we can go get salads together. 
<laughs> that, I'm crossing my fingers for it. All right, thanks for hanging out, Adam. Appreciate you, man. All right, thanks, guys. Bye, Adam. Bye.